and welcome back to the United Star. We've got Ernest here from Milan, San Diego, and he's going to preview the AC Milan game versus Manchester United game in the Europa League with us today. So, Ernest, let me get straight into it first of all. So, Manchester United and AC Milan are sort of having very similar seasons this year. Uh, we're both second to our sort of city rivals. We're uh, sort of not close enough to challenge for the title anymore, but we're having maybe you can say better seasons than we expected before the season kicked off. So, what do you make of Milan's season till now and how happy are you or are you disappointed with certain aspects of it? Hello, guys. Uh, thank you for having me here today. Um, we are actually very, very happy with our, with our current season. Um, nobody would expect us to be second at this point of the season. Uh, so, um, all Milan fans are kind of like... Um, a little bit sad because we, you know, gave up the first part to Inter Milan. But um, so far, it's been a great season. Right, right. Absolutely. You know, Priyan, I could say the same thing for United as well. No one expected us to be second. The entire debate was around Liverpool and City. But we led the season for a brief period. Well, we were never in the title race for my mind anyway. But uh, yesterday, we spoke about it after the Man City game that in the last 22 Premier League games, you've lost only one. In the Europa League, of course, we've been quite brilliant, but we haven't faced... I mean, yes, uh, Sociedad was a formidable opposition, but we haven't faced anyone of the quality of Milan yet. So, how pleased are you going into this game with United's form uh, and what are you expecting? Um, I think our season, we weren't expecting anything great to happen because we had a poor transfer window with um, and City and Chelsea. They'd all capitalised on the transfer window. But... Um, uh, even with with, the, with our expectations so low, we reach the top of the table, and um, you don't want to, but you still start feeling that you know there's a chance that 21 and 21 is possible. But then they let us down, and now we we are like 13 points behind City, so it's all come uh, back to reality now. But um, I think the form wise, I think we're in good form. We haven't lost too many games, and uh, we've beaten City, which is a big big win. The derby win. So, I think we're looking good going into the game. Right, right. Absolutely. So, Anis, you said that, uh, you know, you all didn't expect Milan to be in second place. Uh, do you realistically think that apart from the Europa League, you all can win any other trophy this season? And keeping that in mind, how important is the Europa League from a perspe- from the perspective of Milan? Okay, so, we are, uh, right now, it's going to be very, very hard to recover six points from Inter. Um, we just got out of the Coppa Italia again to Inter. Um, so the only um, Coppa we can actually fight for this season right now it's uh, the Europa League. But um, to be honest, as a Milan fan, I find it really, really difficult. Um, but there is no harm in trying. I think the team is going to try, give the best. Manchester United. <sighs> You know, since we last met in 2010, yeah, it's been it's been always you know great to play Premier League team. But I think that um, you know Serie A and the Premier League there's always that you know gap in terms of intensity, uh, which can be very very detrimental to. to um, but though though uh, this fact that I think we're gonna put out a great game. Um, we have a lot of, you know, a lot of players injured. We have Zlatan out, Taranoglu out, Rebic was still, you know, trying to assess his, uh, his uh, fitness, you know, day after day. We have um, Theo still trying yeah, to, Theo, yeah. trying to come back. So it's going to be a tough game. But I expect the, the guys, you know, that are going to be on the pitch, I expect them to, uh, um, to bring the game to Manchester United. It's going to be a tough game. Absolutely. You know, also the number of pl- the players you've mentioned there uh, in the likes of Zatan Ibrahimovic, who's obviously scored 14 goals uh, across all competitions and has been a massive player for you as he was for us. And he keeps proving that age is sort of no bar. And not having him in the first leg is a big advantage to United because his physicality sort of might have been a problem with our defend- defence. And the other players as well, I think Theo Hernandez has been probably one of uh, your best players this season. And to not have him as well is going to be a big loss. So, I think uh, Manchester United definitely sort of start uh, this game with uh, one leg ahead. But 
you never know what can happen on a European night on in a Europa League game. Uh, anyone can sort of turn up. And obviously, AC Milan historically are a great European team as as Manchester United is. And let's face it, we don't belong in this competition. But uh, Priyan, <laughs> I want to come to you. Uh, I want to ask you about how important is this trophy for Manchester United now? People thought we were going to get knocked out against Sociedad and we weren't going to go go ahead that leg. Now, unfortunately, we've drawn a formidable team in AC Milan. So, how important is this cup for us? And how far do you see us going? Um, I think it's it's very important to win the Europa League or any trophy for that matter. But Europa League in terms of a European trophy is very important. And it's very important for Oli. Um, Oli's faced a lot of flack again this season, but he's proved his doubt was wrong. But then again, United slacked off and we had a couple of poor results. But Oli is known to do that, you know. After a couple of after a few poor poor results, he puts in the performance and he gets the best out of the, te- out of the teams like we did against the team. So hopefully now we can go on a run and um, probably win the Europa League. We still have the FA Cup. I think the Premier League is out of reach and the FA Cup, but I feel the FA Cup is a bit tougher just because of the quality of the teams there. Um, but yeah, I think Europa League is a realistic. We have a realistic chance and uh, United do need to go for it. Absolutely. I agree with you. And I personally first felt that the FA Cup was our best option. And I yet do think that. Because even if you win this game, we're just one game away from going away to some Baltic country where you have to travel long distances. And then you come back with players tired and then they don't aren't able to perform in the Premier League. But uh, Ernest, let me come to you. You already spoke about the number of players that are injured. Now, which players do you think are going to take the field in the first leg? What will your predicted starting 11, 11 be for this game? Okay, so I um, expect a great game from Frankie C. Yeah. Uh, he's been he's been phenomenal this season um, and last season as well. So I expect him to like uh, you know to give us a little bit that sort of solid uh, performance in the midfield uh, because it's going to be really tough playing against you know the fast paced counter attacking you know Premier League style football. Uh, I expect a good game from Leao because this is the type of game he should be. Um, um, you know, coming out there and you know, showing his uh, qualities because um, he's the type of player that can attack spaces. And uh, I'm very uh, confident, um, you know, there's going to be a lot of space in the game. Um, but so far, my um, my prediction for the lineup is going to it's going to be uh, Tata Ruzano. Um, I don't think Juju is going to be a star. I think he's a uh, he has one yellow card away from suspension, so maybe you know Pioli is going to like you know save him from you know for the return game in San Siro. Um, and then I'm expecting Calabria to start. I'm expecting um, Tomori and Kier to start. Mm-hmm. But I don't know I don't know how well that's going to go. Maybe um, Romagnoli or because we we have in the rotation right now at the back. So mm-hmm. I expect here and tomorrow to start, and then Teo if he recovers from the knock. Mm-hmm. But um, so far we're just gonna see how that goes. But so far, um, Dalot should be starting. And, yeah, you know, I was just gonna I'm ask you, sure. do you think Dalo will start against United? Yeah, because uh, uh, that would be a great chance to play against his uh, parent team uh, to show his uh, qualities that uh, that he stayed there. Great goal, by the way, during the. The yeah. Verona Milan game. I wasn't expecting yeah. that for him based on his performance recently. But and in the midfield, I'm expecting um Kesi and uh Mete to start. Okay. Kesi and Mete. And uh, up front, we're expecting Samu Castilleco, Krunic, and uh Sarmaker. Right, right. So, and then Leao up front creating problems. Right, right, right. So obviously, uh, so uh, Sandro Tonali is injured as well. Are you not expecting him to play? So yeah, um, Sandro Tonali is still, you know, he's still having a knock, but um, you know, he might be fit for the bench, but that's gonna be like a last-minute evaluation. Yeah, right, right. So I mean, I think uh, 
Frank and Kessie obviously I was telling Priyan before we started shooting as well he is one player that I feel is very good and uh, has a lot of uh, creative quality he plays sort of that quarterback role that sort of Pogba can play and he has a lot of quality going forward as well so I think he's definitely one player to watch out for the other players I'd be worried about are not not fit to start unfortunately for you <laughs> and fortunately for Manchester United at least in the first leg they're not going to be fit so i think that allows united to be able to exploit those spaces that you were talking about a little more so i want to come to pg uh, priyan do you think that uh, we'll play out our first 11 like we did against sociedad and hope we sort of end the game after the first leg or do you think we'll take a sort of mixed approach and rest a few players considering we've played chelsea palace city in the last three games um yeah i th- yeah, i don't think or he's going to rest his players um he doesn't have the squad to rest players and uh, bring in people to rest bruno and rashford so i don't think that's going to happen um my lineup i think dean anderson starts in goal with uh, I, i i could see luke shaw getting a rest because he put in a real shift against city uh today's back so alex teles plays with uh, maguire and i'd like to see bai play with maguire and uh, van der sar on the right my midfield um I would want to see Bruno play with uh, McTominay and Matic. Now, uh, McTominay generally starts with Fred, but uh, this is a game. It's going to be a very physical game. Uh, it's going to be a very. Um, you have to be a. You have to be strong in this game, and I think Matic brings that to us. Over that, Matic can pick off, pick out those longer balls, which uh, Fred, for the life of him, cannot. play those balls up front so a passing has to be accurate because we will be playing on the counter and we will be exploiting um uh, uh the pace we will be using a pace a lot so i think matic plays with mctominay and up front i think uh, i think tony tony should start he's had a good game against city solid uh, number 9 performance with uh, marcial and i'd like to see uh, greenwood come into the game so tony up front and who plays on the left then um rashford on the left and uh, greenwood on the right okay yeah makes sense i think i kind of agree with your lineup i think i agree with most of the players there because we too have got paul pogba who's injured van der beek who's not available cavani is also carrying some sort of a muscle injury so we're not yet sure rashford in fact was taken for a scan uh Where with his left ankle is ballooned apparently, and he can't put any weight on it, so he may not be available. In that case, I think Greenwood can play up top. James will go on to the right, or maybe even we might see a surprise entrance from Juan Mata. Who knows? And on the left, uh, of course, then we'll have Anthony Martial. So, honest, like I said, I think Kessie is going to be the key. If you can mark him out, I think Milan. We can deal with the Milan team apart, considering all the injuries. From a Milan perspective, who do you see as the biggest threat in this United side? If you've been following United at all, Rafa Leao has to be Rafa Leao. Um, ex- I'm expecting him to have a good game. I'm expecting him to use his pace, his physicality, you know, and get the the Manu back four. Um, so I'm not sure if uh, Luke Shaw is going to start. I think it's going to be. Um, a good you know a good battle between the two uh if he's coming from his uh from his right or if he's coming from his right i'm not sure how you know the, how the game is going to evolve but um i'm pretty sure that leo is going to um you know give the mayu back for a, a tough a tough game and honest um, though, which I'm, united player are you most uh, worried about i am most worried about antonio masia Um, obviously, there's no Cavani, there's no um, Pogba. You know, these are these are guys that you know, they've been in the Serie A before. They they know the league. They know they know some of the players. They know how to play. But um, I'm gonna say Masia because um, you know he's a very quick player, and um, he can cause Kier and Romagnoli or Tomori problems. But um, but if we can create you know play together compact like play a little bit lower that's going to be the difference because if we play up high in the field you know match the united can you know catch you on the counter attack and you have quick players like you know, Tony Masia or Rashford we kind of like you know hoping he doesn't recover in time for the game but <laughs> but uh, it seems like he's going to be fit for the game um I am looking out for Bruno Fernandes though. 
But I think you see you do a good job in single game out of the game. Right, right, right. Absolutely. So, Priyan, uh, let's get to the final segment of this uh, video where I think mostly we've always gotten it wrong. Uh, what are your predictions for uh, this game? What do you see the first leg ending as? Um, I think United are going to catch AC Milan on the break and we're going to use our pace, like we said. Uh, I'm going to go for a 2 0 United with uh, Martial and Bruno getting the goals. Right, right. Uh, Ernest, what do you think from your perspective? What would be the scoreline? What would you be happy with? I'll be happy with a 2 1. I'll be happy with a 2 1. 2 1 to Milan or to United? 2 1 matches to United. Right, right, right. So, much so right. yeah, that would make sense. You can take an away goal to San Siro. That would be a decent advantage to have. So, uh, guys, my prediction is that uh, United will win this game 3 1. I think uh, we will concede. I think uh, the likes of Kessier and uh, Leo is going to like, uh, is definitely going to trouble us with their creativity and pace. So, uh, let's see what happens, guys. Thanks, Ernest, for coming on. Do check out uh, Milan San Diego. It's a great page there. They're putting out content. If you're a Milan fan, they're putting out very regular content with match updates and what's going on there. So, do check it out. The link is in the description. Thanks, Priyan, as always, for coming along. And subscribe to our channel if you're new here. And we'll see you all soon with, what, with our review. Thank you. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you do like it, please click on the thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel click on the bell icon to get daily notifications from the united star follow us on instagram at the.unitedstar and we will see you soon